coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Due to this morning's bitter cold conditions, several schools around the Wabash Valley are operating on delays. You can find the latest delays at the bottom of your screen and at WTHITV.com. Happening now, the Homeless Council of the Wabash Valley's Warming Center is open. It will be open until 8 o'clock this morning and then again tonight from 6 p.m. to tomorrow morning at 8. The center is inside St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Terre Haute. That's on North 7th Street. Meals will also be provided. Several places in Edgar County are also open for people to warm up. The Paris Public Library will be open today from 10 until 6. Also, the Senior Center in Paris will be open today from 830 until 4. If you need help during other hours, contact the Edgar County Sheriff's Office. There are several other places in the county that are open as needed. You can find more information on where to go on our website. That's WTHITV.com. Scientists are monitoring a new version of the highly contagious Omicron variant of COVID-19. Little is known about the BA.2 strain. It's been detected in Europe, Asia, and multiple U.S. states. Pfizer announced the start of clinical trials of an Omicron-specific vaccine. Initial data is expected by June. The study will include more than 1,400 participants and will look at both a two-dose regimen and a booster dose. The Indiana strike team will be in Vigo County today to help more people get tested and vaccinated. The strike team will be at Plumbers and Steamfitters Local 157 today through Saturday. Hours are from noon until 8 each day. Moderna and Pfizer vaccines will be available. If you need to get tested, both PCR and rapid antigen tests will be offered. Appointments are not necessary. An Indiana House bill is looking to reduce jail overcrowding at the local level and potentially get some lower level offenders uh, addiction or mental health they need. The bill was co-authored by Representative Bob Heaton of Terre Haute. News 10's Tucker White joins us live from the newsroom. He tells us how Vigo County officials say this could impact us. Good morning, Tucker. Good morning, John. House Bill 1004 aims to help the nearly 80% of Indiana jails that are experiencing overcrowding. It would provide flexibility so level six felony offenders can be sent to community corrections programs. Level six offenses are the lowest felony offenders. The hope is that community corrections programs rather than jail would help get these offenders the mental health help or addiction assistance that they need. Vigo County Sheriff John Palassi says overcrowding has caused problems for the county like many other counties. He says since 2014, when the state of Indiana started sending level six felonies to county jails, things have not improved. To hear what your local state representatives are saying about the bill, you can visit our website. That's WTHITV.com. We'll continue to bring you updates on this bill as it works its way to becoming a law. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tucker White, News 10. Good morning. Temperatures right now are in the single digits, uh, you know, approaching zero in many locations right there uh, farther to the north in Paris. But what you need to pay attention to if you have to do anything outside are our windshield values. You can see this is what it feels like outside. Actually feels closer to negative 10, negative 9, Terre Haute, negative 14 in Paris because of these winds. And when that hit, wind hits your skin, if it's exposed, it does not feel very good. It's uncomfortable. So you need to be careful if you are outside, wear layers, uh, minimize your time outdoors if you can. Uh, as we we move through the rest of the day, we are going to see mostly sunny conditions, but you know that sunlight's really not going to help that much as we move through the day because our highs for the afternoon are only going to be in the lower 20s for mostly sunny. You can see Thursday, tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies roll in and it's going to start tonight. We can see our lows. I wish I had good news about tomorrow morning, but you know it's just going to be very cold. Lower teens, wind chill close to zero. Uh, we are going to be above freezing by the end of the afternoon tomorrow, but we do have a chance for afternoon snow flurries.